Hey everyone, so this is going to be an intuitive benchmark between all the major smartphones of 2016. So here in the bottom left corner we have the iPhone SC, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, the Sony Xperia X performance, the Xperia XZ, the Galaxy 7 Edge, the Galaxy Note 7. Here in the top left, HD 10, Google Pixel XL, the LG 5, the LG B20, the OnePlus 3, and the OnePlus 3T. Alright everyone, so doing the first test here. So you see we have a graphical test, uh, and for the most part it looks very smooth on all of them, not noticing much frame rate drop, uh, very smooth colors, aside here from the Pixel XL and the Sony Xperia X performance. Now I had the same issue, I did this test a couple times, uh, so you see very strange here we have all the white, um, but again it is the same results I've gotten the last few times when I tried doing this, so uh, all of them, all these phones on the latest version and to do. Uh, downloaded from the Play Store, so makes me think issue with the two phones just on the newest version of Intuitu here. So in terms of RAM, these phones pretty much go in an order. Uh, the iPhone 7, the iPhone SE both have two. The 7 Plus and the Sony phones have three. As see here on the second graphical test. So a little bit better here for the um, Pixel XL and the Xperia X performance. And then most of the other phones have 4GB RAM aside from the OnePlus, and the OnePlus 3 and the 3T which have 6. Alright, so pretty impressive here. Let me just adjust the camera a tiny bit. Now with the iPhone SE you do have last year's A9 chipset, uh, very similar specs to the iPhone 6S. With the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus you have, or rather with the, oh uh, yeah, the iPhone 7 7 Plus you have the A10. Uh, most of the other phones have the Snapdragon A20 aside from the Pixel XL and the OnePlus 3 which had the A21. So about 50% done here. So I think in terms of internal specs, I think the 3T is the best. Uh, 6 GB RAM, Snapdragon 21. Although I guess you can argue with iPhone, the 7 Plus, uh, that 3 GB RAM, A10, so different chipset there. Alright, so about two thirds of the way done here. And all these phones have <clears throat> latest version of software applied. All right, into the mid 80s for the iPhones. And once I get near 100, I'm going to flip them over just to, alright, well, a little odd there with the iPhone 7, though I have seen that before. Just to make it suspenseful.
the one plus threes weeding the pack. And I'm gonna flip over. All right, guys, let's check in on the results. So now for the results. Coming in last place, 13th place, as you probably expect, is the iPhone SE. Um, came out more towards the beginning of the year, as I mentioned earlier, similar to the iPhone success in terms of specs, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and the A9 chipset. So not that surprising there. Coming in 12th place is HC10, a score of 139,402. Um, again, this is pretty expected. I think I have very similar results in the past. Snapdragon 820, 4GB uh, of RAM, very similar results to what I got in previously. Now, coming in 11th place, and I think this is a bit surprising, but though not that unexpected, uh, the Google Pixel XL, a score of 143,785. Uh, this is a, one of only two phones with the Snapdragon 821. Also has 4 gb of RAM, so considering the specs, it is pretty surprising. Uh, I think that Google just doesn't completely open it. Uh, it doesn't allow it to get as good results as it could. Coming in 10th place is the Sony Xperia X performance, a score of 144,452. So this phone was followed up by the Xperia XZ. Um, and in solid score here, it's not really 23 bytes of RAM, but Sony did outperform it on the XZ, as you'll see in a minute. Next up in ninth place, we got the Galaxy Note 7. Now, of course, with this phone, uh, it has been discontinued, so not getting updates with it. Uh, actually, we'll be returning it pretty soon, but just wanted to get a couple a couple um, last tests in here. Uh, so again, discontinued, but it does have Snapdragon 24 bytes of RAM. Coming in at eighth place is the One Plus Three. See a score of 145,506. Uh, so this, of course, was followed up by the OnePlus 3T, um, 6 GB of RAM, the most of any of the phones, and Snapdragon 20. Coming in 7th place is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, score of 146,375. Uh, now this, of course, still on Marshmallow, but I expect the score to improve once it's on Android and Android Nougat. Um, but still, pretty solid score, Snapdragon 20, 4 GB of RAM. Next up in 6th place... We got the LG 5, 149,512. Uh, now this was, of course, followed up by the LG V20, which you're going to see in a second here. Um, but very impressive score here. Uh, this is on Android 7 Nougat, and I believe the score improved over last time when it was on Marshmallow. So Snapdragon 20 and 4 GB of RAM. Now we're moving into the top 5, and we got the Sony Xperia X performance, also just recently upgraded Android N. Uh, I see a score of 149,800, so... Uh, this phone, only 3 bytes of RAM, but does have a Snapdragon 20 and very well optimized by Sony. Uh, and as you see, a big improvement over the Xperia X performance. Now for 4th place, we got the LG V20, uh, score 150,117. Uh, so similar specs to the LG G5 actually, uh, internally Snapdragon 20 and 4 bytes of RAM, but I guess very slightly better optimized, but so pretty close score. Now we're moving into the top three. Um, so third place, and guys, this is a really impressive score for the one plus three T. A score one sixty four thousand nine oh nine. Uh, so almost fifteen thousand higher than the next closest one. Um, so extremely, extremely impressive here. It does have the Snapdragon twenty one. Does have six gigabytes of RAM. Um, so very impressive here for the one plus three T. And second place, as you probably expect, is the iPhone 7, 182,158. Um, so, 2GB of RAM, Snapdragon 8, or rather, uh, the A10 chipset with this. And first place is the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, 182,508. And as you see here, uh, more in-depth score. I'm going to show you the OnePlus 3T more in-depth in a second here. Um... So yeah, 3 bytes of RAM, the A10 chipset, very, very impressive for the iPhone 7 Plus. 
So a more in-depth look at the one plus three T. And let me bring up so we'll go to the ranking list. So here it is in the ranking list, and what do you know, exactly the same order here. Uh, third place behind the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7. And let's look a little bit more in detail. Or actually, that's what we just looked at. Let's look at, we'll take a look at the info. So yeah guys, again, I'm really impressed with the 3T here. Now, obviously the phone does have some faults, so like I don't think that the, um, Rear facing camera is great, it's not waterproof. Um, there's a few areas where it could definitely be improved, but obviously it's a really inexpensive phone. Um, so, very, very impressive here. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, very in mind of what I've seen in past results with the Antutu benchmarks. Uh, please subscribe more like this in the future, and thanks again for watching.